In this video, I discuss French secularism. The French call their type of secularism laïcité, and for many of them, it is so sacred that they even wrote it into the constitution in its very first phrase. Moreover, France is the only Western European country that explicitly uses the term secular republic in its constitution, so you can imagine how fundamental this principle must be to them. The French type of secularism is assertive, it seeks to protect people from religion, it wants to exclude religion from the public sphere. Why? Because historically in France there was a marriage of Catholic Church and the Catholic monarchy. Therefore Republicans became both anti-monarchy and anti-religious. As Jacques Berliner Blau states, the French came to laïcité through blood and tears. As we know it, it wasn't the case for the United States, for instance. Thus, we can understand that historical background plays one of the major roles in what type of secularism a country may embrace. French model was developed in response to the excessive dominance of the church. According to this model, the state should be separated from religion, but at the same time it retains the right to intervene in the affairs of religion, while religion is deprived of any right to interfere in the affairs of the state. Rajiv Pargava calls it a one-way exclusion and believes that this model encourages open disrespect for religion. Such interference is the demonstration of the power of the state over religion. Of course, the situation in the 21st century differs from the 18th or the 19th centuries. In modern France, the situation around La Cité is aggravated due to immigration and different political forces in the country offer different approaches. Not surprisingly, many people today consider such policies to be anti-religious and designed to stigmatize believers, especially Muslims. After all, today Islam is the second largest religion in France. But it is important to remember that initially these principles were directed precisely against the Catholic Church. Yet, some critics accuse France of double standards that infringe on Muslims. For instance, that representatives of Christianity may have more civil rights than French Muslims. Let's say in the matter of education or use of cemeteries. For more on that, see Assad, Pargava or Fernanda. Berliner Blau states, a state that wishes to control and monitor religion cannot build a wall of separation. There is no total separation in France. Rather, the government regulates some religious groups and refuses to even recognize others. The French model results in entanglements that would be unimaginable in the United States. While Americans emphasize freedom of religion, the French place more emphasis on freedom of conscience. In America, people are very loud about their religion. You find religion everywhere in their jewelry, their tattoos, their bumper stickers and so on. But in France, it is more of a private matter. And by the way, if you work for the government, for example, you are a school bus driver, you are not allowed to show any religious symbol, even wear a cross so that others can see it. I think there is a reason why Professor Berliner Blau points that France is suspicious of the true believer, while the United States is suspicious of the non-believer. Indeed, the French model differs a lot from the US or Indian model of secularism, but it has certain similarities with the Turkish model, and you will see why when we'll discuss it later. At the end, I'd like to say that state-religion relations are too complex to be explained simply by a single dominant model, theory or ideology. There is always dynamic and process that does not allow to describe reality by one simple model. In every country there are ongoing struggles and disagreements, so the attitude towards secularism is almost never monolithic. So, take my words as generalization that almost always have exceptions. If you liked the video, consider to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.